So DDR5 is here and today I want to give you a quick look at Kingston's offering. So I've got 32 gigabytes of Kingston Fury Beast at a blistering fast 5200 megahertz. So let's take a closer look at it. Kingston Fury Beast is currently available in 16GB modules and these come as single modules or kits of two. The range starts at 4800MHz and as well as the 5200MHz kit I have, it's also available at 5600MHz and 6000MHz. It's available in latencies of CL38 and CL40. So Kingston Fury Beast DDR5 should bring improved stability with overclocking thanks to the Ondai ECC. It also should bring improved efficiency thanks to double the banks and burst lengths and two independent 32-bit sub-channels. It's also Intel XMP 3.0 ready and this newly designed low-profile heat spreader should not only help it look good but run cool. I've already used this kit in the build and it should be coming to the channel in about a week's time. What I can say, I was incredibly impressed with it. It ran great and also looked well too. The plug and play at 4800 MHz was a pleasant surprise. So I plugged this into the motherboard, went into the BIOS, and I was already running at 4800 MHz. I enabled the XMP profile to get it up to 5200 MHz without any difficulty. So really enjoyed using this kit, and I think you'll find it in a few more of my builds going forward. So big thanks to Kingston for sending it out.